So now I'm going to show you a little bit about WebStorm. And uh, I've used WebStorm for a couple of years. And there's a couple of things you want to do to get it set up. And once you start, like when you start WebStorm, you're going to see this deal here. Let me just get this out of the way because that's like hyper reality. And, um, and I'm just looking at my different things here. So you'll create a new project, and you can delete projects you've opened before. And when you create a new project, you basically just open up some folder somewhere, and that becomes the root folder of your project. And then it shows you everything down beneath it. And uh, when you also first come here, you could go to Configure, and you could go to Plugins. And in the plugins here, if you're using WebStorm, just take a look at the plugins I have checked. So CSS support, yes. File watchers, yes. Git integration, GitHub. The Go programming language, I added that in because I do that stuff. HTML tools, yes. And some JavaScript, all that stuff because you may end up doing a little JavaScript. Live edit and markdown, I did both of those. And quirks mode, sure. And then terminal and TextMate and W3C validator. And YAML because I do that sometimes. And the rest of them, I don't need that stuff. So I have it running in the background consuming resources. So I turned all those off. And if you needed to find new ones, you could come up here and you could search and maybe find a new one and install it to do what you need the editor to do. But that's how you could add functionality to it. Then you could also go with WebStorm and go to Color Themes. And, uh, and you could go to this website, color-themes.com. And then you could choose a different color theme for your editor. And uh, they're loading right now. And you could say, hey, I want my code to look like this or like that. And you could sort them by popularity or whatever. And then in here, there's a, a upload theme help. Maybe it's under help. How do I install a theme right here? So it tells you how to install it. And the, it's the WebStorm and the, the JetBrains editors, which these are for. right? So that shows you how to change your color theme. And so my theme right now, HTML, CSS, Boot Camp. You know, it has that look. I just want to keep it white and high contrast and readable because I'm trying to teach people. I want them to see the code. So that's why I went with that one. And, uh, and then you have preferences over here, which is helpful. So anytime you need to change preferences, like maybe I wanted to, like, you know, uh, you know, line, like just find something related to line, like how far. And here, maximum number of errors 50 that's not what I mean. maximum line length you know but you can search up here and you can find things like I wanted to find like how far out can I type before it wraps text and so I'm just looking for that setting code folding cold code completion uh, I don't know somewhere in here colors and fonts generals but I'm not going to dig around for it but you know that's what you do and you could start finding the different settings. But using the search feature is really handy for finding the different settings. And the last thing I'll point out is you have your key map reference under help. And it might be somewhere else in Windows and call it something else. But the key map reference tells you all kinds of shortcut keys. You know, and so you know, sometimes you'll see me do multiple arrays, which is uh, this. And what is that character? I don't know what that weird S is. It tells me right here. It's the option alt key. Option click will allow me to insert multiple arrays, right? <coughs> so that key map reference will allow me to do stuff like I want an unordered list, and uh, inside that I want list items, and I want 10 in there. Cool, right? And then I could have my information here, like, you know, hot dogs, corn dogs, chips, soda, fries, ice cream. Um, I don't know, peanuts, I'm just thinking ballpark for some reason, cotton candy, and pennants, and baseballs, right? And then I'm like, ah, you know, I wanted to have items in front of each of these. I could do there, hold down my option, select all that, and do items, all right? And so being able to use your tools helps you kind of get stuff done quick, and that's kind of cool. And you find out how you do that in WebStorm under help. Key map reference. So there's a really fast, down and dirty, kind of you know, quick introduction to WebStorm. Anybody have questions? Where's my recorder? There it is. Yeah, I have a question. What's up?
What's up?